I am really speechless. I'm really speechless, okay? Well, I have no words. springtime skin glow like we just see all the glow that's happening on my face right now and we're just admiring it just take it all in take it all in baby see it yes so this is what we're creating today springtime skin glow 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 like everybody loves a nice dewy finish a nice glow finish so we could take those golden owl pictures and post them on instagram and twitter and look real cute so by the way follow me on instagram at taylor a more i'll put it in the description box i'll probably put a little clip on this video as well if you want to see how i did this go ahead keep watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel Turn on my post notifications because honey, we over here partying and we're over here looking so cute. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So most importantly, you gotta start with a good foundation. And before you start with a good foundation, you gotta prep that foundation. So first I'm going to take this spray that I concocted. I literally used some rose water that I have as well as some highlighter and I crushed it in here so I can have like a luminous glow spray so yeah I'm about to drench my face in this real quick and as that is drying I'm gonna put on some moisturizer because I just feel like it sticks better like do y'all see how my face is already we got that glow going. So we gonna keep it going. But I'm gonna use some moisturizer now to put on top of that because I feel like when I put moisturizer on top of my spray, it makes my foundation stick better. So the moisturizer that I'm taking today is Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And then I'm gonna seal that moisture in with my Mario Badescu water. And this one is the lavender. And I'm just gonna spray again. Now, because my skin is dry, the primer that I'm gonna use is by e.l.f. and it is a hydrating primer. This stuff feels so good, like, amazingly good so because i do like a dewy finish for spring i'm gonna be taking my cream foundation and this is by black opal and i told y'all already if you've seen my previous videos that i love this stuff so i'm gonna just take this and put it all over my face Okay, so it looks really kind of like orangey right now, but I promise once I blend it and everything, it'll be fine. But you see how we still have like that glow going on if I just turn? Like, this is just my foundation, okay? So now I'm going to take my beauty sponge and just pat this into my skin a little bit more. Okay. So we are still glowed. We are still very, very, very much glowed. And this is like what we want to keep throughout our whole makeup process today. I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Concealer and y'all know I'm all about moment of silence for products that are the bomb. This is one of them. 
So, NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I love, love, love this stuff. Like, I have been so behind and I've never actually used a NARS product. But, honey, trust and believe they're gonna be getting my coins. Like, this applicator is perfect. It goes on, it glides on, matter of fact. Okay, we are still glowing. Still glowing. Now I'm gonna set my face and I'm using the Beauty Bakery flower to set. This is the color yellow. As you can see, we still have our glow after we baked. And now I'm just gonna take some of that powder and press it all over my face. I'm not even gonna do like too much, but I'm just gonna take a little tap the excess and just press the rest of my face. I'm gonna go behind that with my Sephora, um, what is this? Micro Smooth. My Sephora Micro Smooth, um, I guess foundation. All it says is Sephora Micro Smooth. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that over the rest of my face. And press and press. So now I'm gonna take my Iman Cosmetics Press Powder. This is in the color Earth Deep. And we're gonna warm up our face because we have a little washed out. And I just want to say, excuse my edges, because I know they're a hot freaking mess. But I haven't really learned to work with an overgrowth of edges. So, I do what I can. So for a little bit of extra shine and a little bit extra glow, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution. This is the Baked Bronzer. I'm going to bronze just a little bit. For blush, I'm going to take this Tarte blush. And this is the color Party. But it's more like Party because there's like three A's in this thing. But it's very subtle. So for highlights, the moment that we have all been waiting for. So a couple of days ago, I took a trip to Sephora because I needed to go shopping and get some more stuff for my kit for my clients. And I, the makeup guys were in my favor and I had to pick up the Omri Z highlighter. Clearly it's still in the box. I have not opened it yet. I was like, you know, I'm gonna save this for the video that I'm gonna record for my springtime skin. And yet, here we are. So I'm opening this right now. And this packaging, oh my God, this packaging is legit. Like this looks like some, this is like top of the line. Okay, come through. So now we're gonna open it. Oh, y'all don't save this. This is beautiful. This is so beautiful. And it just looks like off rip that it's like super creamy. So I'm gonna swatch it right quick. And it's not powdery at all. Like it's powdery, but it's like a velvet powder. It's not stupid, dumb, crazy. But let me tell you, this is super pigmented. Like, come through, Omri Z. This is bomb. 
This is really bomb. Okay, so before I delve into this, because I think I wanna add something else very quick, I'm gonna take my Matchsticks by Fenty Beauty, and this is gonna be the color Brum. This one is golden. I really, really like this one. I'll put it on the back of my hand so y'all can see. So this one is gold, like really like a deep gold. So I'm gonna start with this as my highlighter. And this is where, this is where all the glow comes in, honey. This is where all the glow comes in. So I just take my brush and I go over the top of it. And I just start layering it all the way on. And I kind of take it up to swipe it on. And I take some more, put it on my nose, take some more, put it over here. I kind of just see where the light naturally hits my face. And that's where I place my highlight. And I'm gonna put some on my lid. All right, so now we're gonna dive into Tom Reezy. And we gonna see what she's working with. Oh my gosh. This is freaking a blinding. Are y'all still there? Are y'all still there? I think I need to put on some sunglasses. Yo. I'm speechless. I am really speechless. I'm really speechless, okay? Well, I have no words. Except that I'm just going to place it everywhere <laughs> that I placed the other highlight. But I'm not going to put as much, like on my forehead and stuff. Because this is really pigmented. This is so bomb. Oh my god. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> I'm even gonna put this on my highlights too. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and just pop some on my brow bone. Yes, this this is a win for me. I mean, obviously. Y'all see how I'm raving about it. So this is a yes. This is a yes. And I know like by itself it's probably just as well. It works just as well. But so the skin is done. So now I'm gonna take my Mario Badescu water. And I'm just going to drench my face in this again. Here's our final look. We're done. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down, film my intro right quick. And we're going to be out of here. So thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next upload.